the lowest part of our marriage for me and that that kind of hit me so hard mm -hmm. because we mm -hmm. hate being disconnected we hate it yeah. you want to say that i'm not bringing you comfort you are but not then <laughs> Okay, we have been married for three months now. Congrats, babes. <laughs> and we, we love being married. We love marriage and we're learning a lot. And actually, there has been some really surprising moments. Some, I have to like admit, some humbling moments. And today, we just want to share our insights and ask ourselves some deep questions. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this kind of like in a game slash question format and as Mate said we want to ask deeper more yeah I don't know just non-surface level questions but the cool thing is that we knew the questions beforehand but we have no idea what each other is going to say so it's going to be surprising and new for us as much as it is for you and we want to have a little bit of fun so we want to have a little uh, challenge in the beginning okay so let's do rock paper scissors to see who is going to have basically the choice for each question. So whoever wins this whoever. gets to choose on every question if they answer first or second. So this is a good a good thing because some questions you might want to go second. Like you want to win this. I want to win this. Oh, that's okay. I'm very competitive. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, let's do it high so they can see. So Oh, wait, wait, wait. A rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. So it's usually best two out of three. Oh, that's three. Okay. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Okay, okay, we can. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You covered me. You win. I win? Yeah, you win. Okay, you I win. win. Yeah, you win. So that means I'm going, um, I get to so you choose. You get to choose. Okay. With each question, you are like, okay. oh, I want to go second on this or I want to go first. Okay. Okay. Uh, first question. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. What has been the most surprising thing about marriage? Um, I can, I can go first on this one. I can go first on this one. I think what surprised me the most is how much actual work it takes to kind of, I don't want to say, like to have this beautiful marriage. Like you have to put the work in, mm -hmm. you have to show up, you have to invest in it. Mm -hmm. And it was so, that, that was one of the most surprising things because wow, I thought we we're just gonna ride the wave of our like engagement. Like it, it it's not like right, that. Right. I think that surprised me the, the most, like mm -hmm. investing every single day, like reading the books, listening to podcasts, like doing something for your marriage, right. like to keep the passion, to keep the heart, to mm -hmm. always, to always learn something new. That's good. Yeah. Wow. That's what I was going to say, but he, oh, really? he went first, so you got to choose. But to say something different, I would give you the flip side of it. Yeah, I agree with everything he said. Okay. It was definitely surprising because it is, mm -hmm. it takes pursuit and it takes action to keep a marriage alive. Yeah. But another thing that was surprising for me was just how much fun marriage could be. And That's I true. think, I don't know, I knew it was gonna be good, but I didn't know how fun it was going to be and how I told him the other day, I feel like I'm reliving my, my childhood days and I'm becoming like childlike yes. again and like my silliness and my laughing and we play like hide and seek sometimes in the <laughs> house in our tiny apartment where we have like nowhere to hide <laughs> and I just didn't know it was going to be that fun. It's like sometimes we say it's a sleepover with it your is, bestie. It is. It really so, yeah. is. It is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next question. What was the highest and the lowest part mm -hmm. of our marriage so far? Okay, do you want to go first or second? Um, get the pick. I can. I want to go first again on this one because I see the next question. So, <laughs> okay. I would say, okay, the lowest, the lowest part of our marriage for me was it was one day that we both realized that our dating and engagement season was way better mm -hmm, than mm -hmm, now mm -hmm. and where we are in marriage mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that that kind of hit me so mm -hmm. hard it's not that something was happening that we were fighting or something like it was we were just we were 
like when we looked back, it was like, why did we had so much more like fun and mm -hmm. we were growing much more? We were dating and being engaged and now in marriage. And again, we were like, what are we gonna do about it? And I then I remembered the quote that Jason Valentin said, like, if you're not happy what's happening in your house and in your marriage, look yourself in the mirror and hit yourself with it. And I was like, shoot, like, Lord, I'm like, I'm failing as a leader. Like, uh, we've been married for two or three months and we're already like going down. No, that was the first month. Give yourself some credit. Uh, that was I the know. first month. But it was like, wake up. That was like the lowest for me. Again, not that anything bad was happening, but it was like, what, mm -hmm, what was mm -hmm. better before? Mm -hmm. So it was a wake up call for, for me. And that was maybe like the lowest, right, like, right. wow, for me. It was like a slap in the face. Yes. Yeah. And the highest for me was, I was, the other day I, I went to, to play football. Every Friday I play football with my boys. For the Americans, real football that you play with your foot. Stop. <laughs> and I remember I came home and this beautiful amazing woman mm -hmm. like the house was cleaned there was like smell of freshly baked cookies in the air she prepared the dinner for us and I walked in and it hit me like I'm not just coming to a place where I sleep or to a mm -hmm. place to stay I'm coming home to a person mm -hmm. And she started like screaming, my babes is home, my babes is home, I missed you. And I, I almost cried, like I almost lost it, like wow. Just to have like you and all this that we have. And yeah, it was, that's, so that's sweet, my highest. That's so sweet, baby, that's so good. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna see the difference in personalities because Mate had really specific situations and I have more broad ones, <laughs> but this is just how we are. My lowest was, it included that time that you talked about, but it was mm -hmm. just in general, the time period after the honeymoon. Because it was like real life, we're no longer on our honeymoon, mm -hmm. we are here in Croatia, like all of it became real. And again, being away from everything that I know, mm -hmm. my language, my people, my stores, all of that, at the same time of learning how to be a yeah. wife and like us going through that first month of like, wait, why are we not having fun anymore? Yeah. And it was just the culmination of all these things that I was like, oh my gosh, like, like it didn't suck because it wasn't that bad. Like, yeah. I think we're both so in tune with our connection that any little thing we feel, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I think that was just like a whole moment where I was like, oh my gosh, this is like not fun and I'm mm -hmm. sad here in Croatia. And it's like all the big changes came at the same time in a different country, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah. Yeah, so okay. that was like a hard time, it was mm -hmm. a low. Um, yeah, that was it. <laughs> okay, and uh, the high? My high is actually right now. My high is this time period where we've already had our wake up call. Where we're like, okay, marriage clearly takes effort and energy and planning yeah. and romance and all those things. Yeah. And we're finally at a place where life is not super cray cray because in the beginning there was just, there was literally no constant. Like it was a new place, new apartment, new everything that mm -hmm. now we're kind of getting into a routine and I'm like, okay, I can breathe. Like, I feel like myself again. And I feel like there's just, yeah. again, just more peace. So right now in this You're season, high. because we're having fun and we're like figuring out how to be husband True. and wife. True. It looks like we're figuring out our routines, our schedules, mm -hmm. our like how mm -hmm. we work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, this one you're going first. What would you change in our marriage? So he uses his is a uh, pick to his advantage. <laughs> what would I change? This is a hard one because there's not like a specific thing that's easy for us to identify. Like, thank God, like none of us have like any addictions where it's like, oh, yeah. I wish I would change this. I think what I would change would be us growing in our communication and like seeking first to understand each other and we've been working on like connection codes and being able to vocalize our emotions and what we're feeling and what we're mm -hmm. experiencing. And I think, right, correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes 
when we have these moments, it's hard for us to like understand each other. Yeah. And for a, a little bit, we're like disconnected. And sometimes that disconnection lasts, you know, the whole day and sometimes it lasts an hour. Yeah. But I would love it if we can just get to a place where we don't always have to see eye to eye, but at least try to understand each other yeah. so that we have less of a time of like disconnection because mm -hmm. we hate being disconnected. We hate it. Yeah. Because as you said, like even the smallest thing like that that's like kind of tainting our mm -hmm. connection, mm -hmm. we feel it mm -hmm. and we call it disconnection mm -hmm. when everything is not perfect. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, we, we just want to mm -hmm. be up there all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Is that you want to add something? No. Okay. Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> I, I think what I wish I would change is I miss us doing ministry together mm -hmm. like going to homeless camp mm -hmm. together like worshiping That's together good. like being on the floor like cl crying before the lord mm -hmm. it's like we had that mm -hmm. in our previous season of, of our lives and our dating and engagement season now here because there's just different circumstances we don't have it as much and i, I just kind of miss that aspect of of like running towards the lord mm -hmm. but That's good yeah we're talking about it obviously and we're mm -hmm. we're trying to do something about mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. so yeah and that's that's well. something that i would change yeah yeah um what are you most happy about in our marriage hmm. did you already just oh yeah yeah you go, you go, you go. <laughs> i'm sorry you go, you go. um what i'm most happy about is our our pursuit and like importance that we're both placing on our marriage mm -hmm. like because i feel like if we have that kind of outlook on marriage that we are married we know it's going to take work and we're ready to do the work no matter what then like you're stinking set for life yeah. like of course life is, is going to come with you know ups and downs and this yeah. and that but like you know so that makes me really happy that we are both in this level because True. it's unfortunate but a lot of marriages it's like one of the the people in the relationship are all in and the other one yeah. isn't so that makes it just really a beautiful experience to know that like we are partners in everything and i have my partner and we're gonna figure out everything together you stole my answer. Well, this is what you like, get. When I, when I was like, when I looked at this question, I literally wrote down like partnership, like partners mm -hmm. that we do everything together. When something is like wrong or we feel something is off, mm -hmm. okay, how can we fix it? Like mm -hmm. we're doing everything as partners. Mm -hmm. That was my, like, I'm most happy about that because we're pursuing the Lord together as partners. We're doing the Bible study together right, as partners. Right. We're fixing things together. It's mm -hmm. not, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are partners, so we would have the same answer. That's true, that's true, that's true. Okay, last one. What is a quirk? Is it quirk? That's how mm -hmm, you... Mm -hmm. What is a quirk you've learned about me since being married? How do, do I go first on this one? I don't know. This is a tricky one. I have one. I'm, I'm gonna go first. Okay, good. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna... So... So hear me out, peeps. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what he's gonna say. <laughs> Kayla loves being comfy. And we have this big fluffy comforter that's like super warm, super it's down, fluffy. It's down comforter. Down comforter. And it's obviously it's summer here in Croatia, so it gets very hot mm -hmm. even in the summer doing nights. And we we don't use AC during night here in Europe. It's okay, it's my time. Okay, it's my time of <laughs> answering the questions. This is not the point. <laughs> but the thing is, Kayla loves to be covered with her big, fat, fluffy comforter even during summer. And then she's like, I'm so hot, I'm so hot. <laughs> and she's like sweating, it's like a hundred degrees under the comforter, but she needs to be comfy. And <laughs> well, why don't you like no. not cover yourself? No, I need to be comfy. So it's just, it's so interesting to watch her struggle with being comfy mm -hmm. and being hot. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a never ending struggle. I just can't fathom <laughs> sleeping without a comforter. Like that is the name. Comforter brings you comfort. Without a comforter, like what? And we don't have a top sheet. You wanna so say it would be nothing. I would have nothing on me. You want to say that I'm not bringing you comfort? 
You are, but not them. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's on. This is my lowest part of me. He's, he's on the other side. So no, you're not bringing any comfort in that moment. Okay, okay, okay. You go, you go. Just answer your question. I thought you were gonna say something else. That's so funny. I didn't know you were gonna go there. Hmm. That's good. Um, it's hard. You don't have a lot of quirks. And this one I knew about this already before we were married, but I think okay. it's different to like see it okay. and like live with whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think of this? I don't know. Okay. Um, Mate has this thing where he has to make sure that things are closed properly, <laughs> such as the fridge or the door, and he'll close it, but then he'll doubt the fact that he closed it. And like, we'll be going on a trip and we'll be in the elevator and he's like, did I lock the door? And I'm like, yes, you locked it. Are you sure? Yes, yes, I'm sure you locked the door. Did, is the fridge closed? Yeah. And she was like, yes, are you sure it's closed? Sometimes like it'll be this open. Yeah, it's important. It's important, there, there you go. Very important now, now the world knows it about my fridge thing. But that's not even a big thing. Like you don't have any like weird stuff. So this yeah. was a hard question for me to yeah. find. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's so, all. Yeah, that's all we have. We really feel like it's super important for all types of relationships, including a romantic relationship to ask each other these like check-in questions every so often. And it might be uncomfortable and you might hear something that you don't really want to hear, but these are the moments that actually help bring your relationship forward and you mm -hmm. see true growth and it's important. So instead of always asking the silly questions, these deeper questions are actually, again, what give us an abundant relationship together. Yeah. So. I hope you enjoyed sure the little be. glimpse into the beginning of our marriage so far, but we have more coming down the pipeline, yeah. so don't worry. Good? That's it. Love you guys and we bless you. Love you. Bye.